are and we, we still got a lot of time to watch this one. I was just looking at some of the forecast models coming out. We could potentially have this system here for another nine to 10 days if some of the models are right. And in fact, the uh, the AI model, the Google model, DeepMind, that's starting to suggest that it tries to get here, it stalls, it can't get to the north, and it comes out to the west, sits here for a while, and then comes out across Cuba. The European model is very similar to that. 70 to 90 percent chance that this thing develops, and it looks a whole lot better out there for today. You can see that, and that will continue as we go through the evening hours. Now, I think we could end up with a name system as early as, let's say, uh, tomorrow afternoon, maybe it's very close right now, but it's just not doing enough. Uh, there's a look at it now and you can see that it 40 mile per hour winds and that's just estimated there. But that means if this thing does get organized quickly, it will be organized enough to go straight to Tropical Storm Melissa. That's the next name on the list. All right, we're talking 40 mile per hour winds right now. You can see the forecast models. They are all over the place. The ones that are basically right in here those that's more like the GFS model. OK, the Google DeepMind and the European are now kind of stalling it over here and then eventually coming out across the Cuba. But that's not until the beginning of next week, over a week from today. Take a look at the comparison between the European model and the GFS GFS. You can see they're pretty close by the time we get towards this Thursday. But really, that's about as close as they get. I mean, by that time, the, the GFS is slow, but it does bring it out by the end of this weekend. Meanwhile, m other models just have it still here in the Western Caribbean. And there is a ton of warm water in here for energy. Okay, so that is going to continue to, to be the, the, the question, which ones is this going to be? Okay, now for us, and I know you're watching at home, I know what we've been through, and I don't even like to have to talk about these storms with you, but you get it, right? This is wind shear. That is really good news. This helps block us from tropical systems. Anything coming at us would get blown apart and thrown out to sea like this, okay? It doesn't mean we can't get something here, but it is a very good sign. Here's the European with it down here. Look at all that wind shear over top of us, even some over the storm. And, and some models have a t hard time even strengthening the system because of this wind shear you see here. But certainly all of that wind coming across the Gulf at us, that really just shuts the Gulf down for development. Great news. This is going out through a week from today, a week from tomorrow. Uh, that's next Thursday and this big dip coming down to help protect us. Okay, that's what would help to pick this up and take it out to sea. Now, rainfall, regardless, if this thing sits down there, I'm telling you, Jamaica uh, right here, uh, eastern Cuba, perhaps even Haiti, Dominican Republic, we could be talking a ton of rain. I've seen models that put almost 20 inches of rainfall there in Jamaica. So that's something they really need to keep an eye on.